sample bag out of you. And it's gonna hit so god hard your is gonna fall out of your Step 1. Acquire raw sounds. Step 2. Make them bang like a double bird shotgun. A little birdie told me you wanted to make a sample pack from scratch. Or the... my keyword research told me that. But anyways, I'm gonna teach you how to make a loop kit from scratch in four steps, which are concept, source material, process and chain, and organization. And bam, you got a sound kit all to yourself. With concept, Usually when I go to make one, it's either because I'm tired of doing something over and over again, which is why I've made like hi-hat loops, crash loops, stuff like that. Or I'm trying to sell it to as many people as possible. So I'll research what's popular and make something similar. I'm trying to get away from that though because it's miserable for me. And I really like to do creative things, which is why I made Dirty Dishes, which is what we're going to be going over today. I, I put all the raw sounds into a folder. All right, let's check out Coffee Tapping. See, right there, you've already got like six or seven like good one-shots. So I have percussion, one-shots, coffee mug. Once you have your raw material, is I'll just listen through it and see which ones I like. Here, here's actually what I use for coffee mug double tapping or whatever. Put it into a mixer track. Usually if all the sounds are the same sounds or the same type of sound, I have a similar processing chain, which is usually a high pass filter, skirt, skirt, and I will use compressor, skirt, skirt, maybe put some reverb on it. Just something basic. I have a limiter because whenever you export the sounds, you want them all to be at the same volume. One way you can do that is to put a limiter on your master track and boom, it's at zero. I usually do it to zero just because on Splice they require you to have a WAV file 24-bit at, at zero decibels. So yeah, you thought about your concept, you got some dirty dishes ready, you process them bitches, Monetize. and how do you organize them? I guess there's really two ways. Sometimes I'll just kind of go on a rampage and just export a bunch of shit. Monetize. Like, for, for instance, this coffee tapping right here. Sometimes what I would do is just export that, save it as a one shot, and then I'd fuck with it. Monetize. And I think this is a really good way to get like a cohesive sound pack. I just love fucking with sounds. Monetize. Just doing weird shit. Monetize. See, there you go. A horror effect. You could take that, distort it, put a big old reverb on it. All of a sudden, like you've got a horror sound effect or a reverse. You can either just fuck around, Monetize. do just a bunch of samples, put it in the same folder, organize it later, or you can go ahead and have everything set up. Like, uh, look at sample packs that you've got. You know, there's one shots, there's loops, there's tonal or synth one shots, effects, impacts, all type of stuff. Make your folders like. I have melody loops, percussion loops, and then one shots. If you're looking at this video, then maybe you're lost, and if you are, get found by Jesus. Or don't. I don't, I don't know. But, um, I would say just choose something. If you're having trouble coming up with a concept, just pick anything. Because if you start executing on any idea, something's going to come out of it. Let's say I wanted to make a sample pack out of carpet, right? At first, that's just like, carpet, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how many fucking sounds can you get with carpet? Monetize. Uh, but you can actually get a lot. Uh, let's say you put the mic, like, really close up to the carpet. And you, like, rip out a tiny piece. You could rub the carpet. You could slap the carpet with a broom. Then you've got a broom clap. So, uh, yeah. Just pick something, get the raw shit, Monetize. for it, and do it. And then, if it's your first time making one, and it sucks, that's cool. Because you just got better, and the next one's not going to suck as bad. So, yep. Appreciate you checking this out. Uh, the Dirty Dishes, Volume 1. Don't know if there'll be a Volume 2. 
is in the description for free download. And uh, catch you later, bud.